Terrence Gangster responds to Inside Source. You know what I mean? Uh, <clears throat> dude sat up there and said that uh, I think his name was Gotti Tunchi or something like that for Inside Source. He on their channel talked about he handed Terrence Gangster a gun and was like, hey, you know, I could have killed you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you trying to trust people too easy, Terrence. I'm just showing you that. And Terrence said, that's cap, man. That never happened. I think it never happened too. When I go back and look at it, cause it's like, like I say, I tell y'all these stories from experiences that I didn't been through and that I didn't seen. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm, I'm perfect for this shit because it's like, I didn't really get too caught up in the streets, but I was in the streets, so it's like I never really got too brainwashed to where I'ma put two on a 10 and where I'ma high side and jaws to y'all. I ain't gotta lie, cause this shit be about other people, but I used to have partners that, that's on one, you know what I'm saying? Just funking with hella niggas, can't go to this spot, can't go to that spot. Really housed, hiding, you know, they housed, hiding out. They don't really come out unless they got to move around or unless they're going to get on something. You know what I'm saying? Um, these are people in my family. Like, you know, you go kick it with them, man. Get away from here, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going down right now. You know, like... And when niggas get like that, everybody be talking around them. Like, you can't even sneeze around them niggas. You can't even pull up the wrong way. You can't reach in your pocket. You can't even move because them niggas is too on point. So, I can only imagine... You know what I'm saying? A nigga just got into a shootout like two or three days ago. I just got on something or somebody just got, he just in that total PSD shell shock hood shit that niggas be on when they be getting, when they be funking. And I could just see you asking a nigga, let me see your gun. And then handing it back to him like I could have killed you. Especially if you ain't no just boy out there. If you ain't no boy out there catching bodies like me. The average nigga gonna be like, bro, I'm funking with like five different hoods and you playing with me. And see, killers, they think crazy. Like, I done been around killers and like every other comment, every other word and sentence is, I'm gonna kill that nigga. I'm gonna kill that nigga. Oh, we're gonna kill that nigga. We're gonna kill that Oh, what are we gonna do? Let's just kill that nigga. So, you gonna interject yourself into a nigga mind state that's thinking like that by playing with him? That don't make no sense. Like, and this is for like, like I say, this internet, it be people talking to people that ain't never really been through the hood. So they can't tell when stories seem fake and then, you talking to niggas that have been through this shit and seen this shit to where it's like, uh, that might be a tall tale. Like if you're a hooper and a nigga like, and you don't know, you don't play basketball and a nigga like, I took the ball, I took a huge jump step, cross the nigga over, step back. If you don't know hoop terminology, you're going to think a nigga flew across the court. But if you know hoop terminology, you're going to be like, how you took a Euro step and then did a step back when you already was gathering up for a shot? Like, ain't that a travel if you do something like that? So I listen to these stories because I didn't play the game. Nigga, when my niggas was severely funkin', I would never do no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? A nigga, you, if you do that to a nigga, you better kill him. Because if you hand that gun back, like, yeah, I was just teaching you a lesson, Kim Fuck. They'd be like, nigga, what? Don't play with me out here, nigga. I'm really funkin' out here, nigga. You ain't, even, you ain't even in the field like me, playing around with me, nigga. Don't play with me. I remember I got mad at a nigga one time because I was hustling. He's always joke around and play. I remember one time I went out to bust a cell. That nigga came back. Like the police was out there, boy. And I'm like, I got spooked for a minute. He was like, man, I was just playing, bro. I was just telling you, you don't know who watched it. I was looking at him like, boy, what is you playing with me? Boy, don't play with me out here, boy. What kind of shit going through your head to make you play with a nigga like that? And I'm really taking penitentiary chances, having to be on point to move around. And you playing? Man, that 